Okay, so today we've got a Ford uh, Transit and a custom key, and um, it flicks out, and it's got three buttons, as they all have. And there's a problem with this key where it stop uh, transmitting when you, and it won't unlock the van. Okay, so if we compare it to a normal key, there's obviously no signal coming out. And we're going to show you today uh, the problem and how we can fix it. Again, as always, these are our best friends. You squeeze the handle and the jaws open, and this is what we use to open up most keys. Pop them into the slot where the blade goes, and give it a squeeze, and the case will crack. Okay, and then if you pull it open, it's a bit of a pull. Sometimes I need a bit of encouragement. There we go. So that case is open now and you can see that there's the circuit board inside the next thing is do we're going to get the circuit board out of the key just go careful you don't uh, catch anything when you do that oh come on that's fine that's all out now so you can see there the key battery's hanging off the board the leg's supposed to go into that hole there like that and so we're going to replace the battery and resold it okay so to put a new battery onto the key we've got two we need to get the old key battery off and there's two blobs of solder that attach to the key battery on the back okay and we're going to show you how to get rid of those blobs of solder easily because you need to get rid of them before you can do much okay so this is solder mop and we use this to mop up solder from the key so the thing here is that if you haven't got the equipment to be taking uh, these keys apart and desoldering the battery you, you you really want to leave it alone because um, if you try and get the battery off without doing all this you might break the key altogether so that's one as you can see there the solders all gone okay so that's clearing out all the old solder from the key and and that's well there you go so if you just sorry the battery's come off yeah okay so the battery just dropped off there so that just shows you that it's only connected to one side of it, one leg and not the other. Okay, so to finish off, we're just going to get the rest of the solder off that key on the second leg now. Now, another thing you could do is if you don't want to replace the battery, you can just open up the key and you could just resolder that leg. Uh, that's another option for you. Uh, however, we'll show, and if you're going to do that, then um, that, that might be okay, but we think if you're getting this far, you might as well just replace the battery. Okay, so here's a replacement battery. We, um, these are available on eBay, and they're about nine or 10 pound, and we're gonna put this into the new key. Okay, okay so now we're gonna put the, the new battery on the board. Poke it through the holes. And you can see the little legs poking through there. And so I'm just gonna solder that up, and then we'll um, show you what it's like when it's finished. Really simple, really straightforward. You don't need much, too much solder, and um, you just need to make sure you've got a good solder all the way around the leg. All right, nice one. Next thing you want to do is check that the key's transmitting. We, now we've got a machine to do this, so we can see that it is. You can see the signal there, but you can just walk out to your van, and if it operates central locking, you know it's working fine. Okay, so this is a repair case that we found on eBay. There's various places to do them. It fits the uh, Mondeo and the Transit. So when you get that new case, just open it up again with some circlet pliers. Okay, so we put the circuit board inside the case. Now, the reason the key breaks is because the, the little thin legs, you know, on these, when they get dropped, the, the key gets dropped, they'll um, snap. So we put a little bit of... Uh, Silicon inside, excuse Simon's lovely squishy finger, and we put it on the back of the uh, key just to support the key so that it doesn't happen again when the key gets dropped, and hopefully that's a better repair. Okay, next we've got the blade mechanism. Now, you firstly, this part here is different to this. It's been made differently, so you can't just put this bit into your new case it won't work okay so forget about that the next thing is can you take this blade out and put it 
into this key. You might be able to, but the trouble is the little tail that's in there is different to the little tail on the end of this one. And so if you wanted to put this key into this uh, me hinge mechanism, you're going to need to file it down slightly and mess about. Okay, we're just going to cut this key, so it's going to be no bother. All right, but you can have a go at doing that if you want. Okay, so next thing is to build up this mechanism here. And we just need to pop this so that there's only one way this will go through. Okay, it's just a little bit fiddly. Excuse the state of my hands. I've been stripping locks today and they're a bit, a bit sore. Okay, next thing is to pop the spring into, uh, into here. So it's the end without the tail. That goes into there. Okay. Okay, next thing we're going to take the blade mechanism and it needs to go onto this half of the repair key. This little spigot here lines up with that hole. So you just have to bear with me while we line it up. Okay, and then you have to remember that it's going to flick that way, so you have to wind it this way. So wind it around. Okay, so that's all cool. Okay, so that's all good. Okay, so remember to put the ring back in. So, and then we're going to seal the key back up. And then get rid of the excess uh, silicon. Just push it in there to make a bit of support. Okay, so we're going to pop the screw in. And then... We're going to pop the cap that comes with the case, cover up all the goo, and we can see from the tester there that the key transmits fine. If we turn the tester on, the the last thing to do is this problem with this blade here. So obviously, you need the blade either cut or you need it put it into this key. Uh, the issue really is that quite often these blades here won't go into the aftermarket cases. So we would recommend getting the key blade cut, find a good auto locksmith or key cutting shop that's prepared to do it, or get it done by post. Okay, so we've got the uh, blade cut now. And so there you go, all the keys ready. We can get rid of all the old key there. And this new key will start the van and the buttons will work. And we're good to go.